Hey everybody, Art Hoppy here with the Art of Real Estate team in Century 21 New Millennium. I want to talk a little bit in this video about making the most of this current seller's market. Now, right away, we have not seen a seller's market quite as just off the rails hot as this one uh, has proven to be over the course of the last 12 to 18 months in particular. So you might ask yourself, well, why, why not just put my house out there and good things will happen? And, and that's likely true. The difference is, are you leaving any money on the table? Are you actually getting as much as the market could bear for your home? And so again, I wanna cover four quick topics that I think will be impactful if you're looking to sell your home in the current seller's market. So number one is to hire an expert. Now, that's good advice no matter what the market is doing. But by hiring an expert, or maybe think of it as an experienced agent, you're working with someone who has been down that path before. They have helped people through not just this type of market, but really any type of market that we've seen, buyer's market, seller's market, something more in the middle. And they are more accustomed to be able to guide you should there become any issues throughout the course of the transaction. So again, just like you'd hire an experienced professional in any other walk of life, uh, when you're going about listing your home, strongly suggest whether you hire us, hire another team, make sure that you're hiring someone who's got a lot of local experience and a track record of success in that market. Number two is the pricing. And this really is very critical, again, in this seller's market. Believe it or not, we are seeing homes that are sitting on the market longer than the couple few days it seems to take on average for a home to go under contract. And you have to ask yourself, why is that? Why would even in this crazy, incredible seller's market, some homes not sell immediately? And just like it does in any market, it boils down to two different things. It's price and it's condition. So in the case of the pricing, we highly recommend that again, you, you become very aware of what the best comps are for the home that you're trying to sell. And again, a good experience agent can help you look beyond just sort of the, the surface of that. And then look for what we call your sweet spot. What price can you bring your home into the market that you will not give it away, but also not overpriced to the point where you become one of those homes that lasts just a little longer, sometimes a lot longer, than the average, and then people start to ask themselves, well, what's wrong with this house? Why didn't it sell in a short period of time like everyone else? So finding a price, and this is kind of an art and a science when we go about helping people with this, but finding a price that again, when you hit the market, will get you immediate interest and will get you immediate contract offers, which in this market typically also means very strong terms, waived contingencies, extreme flexibility on terms, timing, and things that you would want as a seller. So you don't get those elements if you've been out there longer than the norm. And right now the norm again is just a couple few days typically uh, to get under contract with a good solid serious buyer. Number three is timing. And there's a few elements to the, to the timing conversation. On our team, we like to bring property in maybe on a Wednesday or a Thursday so that you're sort of that new listing going into that weekend. But of course, in this market, with the scarcity that we're seeing in, in homes being on the market active, the inventory as we call that, the, uh, the coming soon campaigns have become very popular and really a good way to get your property known even before it hits the market. There are some stipulations, a few restrictions with coming soon, which we talk about in a different video. But the important point here is to time your entry into the market always based on what you need, your moving schedule, et cetera. But there are sometimes niches. There are sometimes even, again, back to pricing, how you might come in at a certain price at a certain time and be one of the very few homes on the market yet there are many, many more buyers looking for what you have. So from a timing standpoint, it's happening right now, waiting till the spring, waiting till the flowers are in bloom and the leaves are all on the trees, may or may not pay off for you. If there's one thing we've learned when the market gets this crazy hot or anything close to it, is it can also very quickly slow down and sort of pan out and not necessarily drop, but just all that urgency goes away very quickly 
if rates rise significantly in a short period of time, or frankly, if there are just a few more houses out there. So you go from being one of one or two choices to one of six or seven or eight choices, you can see where that would take away some of the urgency for each one of those sellers in that period of time that you're trying to sell. The fourth item, we just, in every market we talk about this, but believe it or not, we see a lot of mistakes being made as far as home preparation, what people are doing to put their best foot forward in getting their home on the market. And I think, again, it probably relates back to this feeling like, hey, homes are just selling in spite of themselves. So, you know, the need to do some of those extra things that we might coach you on uh, that would be very low investment, but have a high return or a high impact, you know, sometimes there may be a feeling of like, you don't necessarily need to do that. We have noticed with a lot of the properties that are sitting on the market longer, that again, they're not even maybe being marketed as strongly, because again, if the feeling is you just put your house out there and it sells automatically, why bother with professional photography and virtual tours and social media and all the other things that we do to try to generate interest in your home. So a common mistake that we see is putting a listing into coming soon or active status before you have your professional pictures, before you have everything ready to really hit the market 100% from the very first moment. And realizing that this is a visual market that we work with, the internet is our friend and, you know, getting your home seen in its, in its best glory uh, in a visual market only works if you're actually putting it out there in a visual market. So I think, again, it's unfortunate that it may cost sellers money if the agents haven't gotten the scheduling down to where they're, they're really putting it out there with their best foot forward from day one. So again, those are four different areas that in combination, if you're just a little bit better, a little bit more savvy, you can really bring out a noticeable difference in getting your home sold quickly, which in this market means for more money and for more reasonable, favorable terms for you as a seller. If you have questions on any of this or anything else regarding real estate, we're always happy to help. We're here at 703-803-3893 or you can look us up at theartofrealestateteam.com, theartofrealestateteam.com. We appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for future real estate related videos and information. And if you've got a real estate question you'd like us to handle, go to www.theartofrealestateteam.com, resources, and scroll down to Just Ask Art, where you can submit your question, and who knows, perhaps it'll be the topic of our next video. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.